This is the elephant hawk moth caterpillar, UK's largest caterpillar. Now I was looking at our evening primrose, now we have one of these here. And moving on from the larger one, we have this one here. So as I was just smelling the flowers, I was looking around, I saw something moving in the corner of my eye. If you look very carefully, it's actually elephant hawk moth caterpillar. There's also another one somewhere. Yes, we're gonna take a closer look at these things. These are actually my favorite caterpillars in the UK. So you can see one right up close there, that's its face. And right now, because it's kind of threatened, you'll see that there's two large spots above their head. And those actually resemble eyes. Now when these caterpillars feel threatened, they'll push in their face. As you can see, their actual eyes are the gray things on the front. They'll push that in and increase this head size, which will actually try and scare predators to think it's some kind of dangerous animal, I guess. Now on their tail, you you'll also notice a very distinct thorn slash spiky shape. That's also to deter predators. Now it's August, which means it's time for the caterpillars to begin pupating. So this is why I didn't want to move this one, but because it's starting to become rigid and that usually means that it's a sign of pupation. They'll kind of turn into a cocoon or a chrysalis over the winter and uh, will emerge in springtime. So I'm gonna take a close look at this caterpillar here. Just, just lightly nudging it so it will sort of walk onto my finger. There you go. Now, as you can see, I've currently got the elephant hawk moth caterpillar on my finger. These caterpillars can actually get up to eight to nine centimeters long, which is kind of crazy. So that's the pattern up close. As you can see, those are the two large eye patterns and the head will actually extend out of that. As you can see, it's slightly wider on the top right now. I expected the tail to be soft, but when you actually touch it, it's quite solid. It almost feels like a thorn, but obviously not as sharp. I mean, that's not very threatening, I suppose, but you know, I'm not really a bird or some kind of predator that's gonna eat the caterpillar. The pattern's really unique on there, as you can see. You can see from the side angle that the back feet are sort of these large suction cups that help them stick to the plant. And at the front, they have a set of six little tiny legs. I think there's little indentations as well. They're potentially spiracles to help them breathe, but I'm not 100% sure what they are. They might just be a pattern. The longer I stared at the spiracles on each part of the caterpillar's body made me realize that it does resemble an elephant's face or the eye or the trunk. Uh, as you can see, the caterpillar here is slightly more defensive. Um, and the only reason was I was trying to put him back on the plant. And now he's kind of standing up. As you can see, the face is standing. And if we just lightly brush it with just a plant, as you can see, the movement is very unusual with how it flicks and twists to try and escape the grasp of some kind of predator. Okay. I did it. But yeah, I really hope they do well because that would be really cool to have some elephant hawk moths. Thanks for watching. Um, goodbye to the caterpillars.